Hi, this is Andy Turner, the education technologist with our student worker, Goose, who has developed a spreadsheet that will allow one to scan an ID card with an ID scanner that Dean Porter has purchased. These tables will be in Ramel Camp with the scanner devices out and these laptops will be available to you. And Goose is going to show us how to use the laptop in order to scan the ID card for a student to get convo credit. Goose, go ahead. Hello, this is um, Chris from IT. I'm going to turn the laptop on first. Power button is right here. Right Wireless is the blue LED. It should be already accessing the wireless. If not, the one that you want to connect to is ICFAC. And if you need the pass key on that, please let us know. You'll need a power cord and an extension cable to plug in these laptops if the batteries aren't already charged. Now here's what you're going to see on screen. Goose is this typing is the login in. screen. And the username is student. Is that upper or lowercase? Lowercase, all lowercase. The password is again student, but with an uppercase S. And I think one of these laptops has a lowercase S, Eric mentioned. So it's login student, password student. So now we get a little bit of patience training. Let's take a few seconds to look. Looks like it's all started up. All right. The scanner is connected by USB. It's in the side of the laptop. You just plug it in. You don't have to do anything else. There we go. And you would access the spreadsheet. And he clicked on the Firefox icon right here, which is the web browser that shows on this laptop. Okay. And I'm going to go to my Google Drive. And Goose is signing in with his Illinois College Gmail account. I'm going to go to shared with me. I didn't get it yet. Now let's go RamelCamp Convo Data Collect. We'll open it right here. Okay, RamelCamp Convo Data Collect. We're opening it. Now the only thing you should have to do is you have a card. You run it through the scanner like this. By the way, oh, sorry. notice that on the USB scanner there's arrows, and the arrows will be where the magnetic stripe touches. You'll hear the beep and then you'll see a timestamp update right here. So that takes just a second. Goose, you want to go ahead and do it one more time and we'll take a look at that. Notice he's scanning it and then the cursor is going automatically to the next field. Let's try it one more time. Great, and we assume that there will be two USB scanners on each table, and there will be two tables, four scanners, two laptops, four scanners. The two laptops will be accessing the same Google spreadsheet. For each scanner, there will be a different tab. Notice we have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. That will be scanner one, scanner two, scanner three. And then those two laptops will be such that each scanner is going to hit a single tab so that there won't be any conflicts. Now the results of this data file will be emailed over to Tanner and we're going to have a follow-up video showing how to aggregate the time of the student ID check-in and check-out so that if it is greater than so many minutes it will count as a convo credit. We'll develop that as a tab delimited text file and that will be run into a pipeline in Genzibar 
so that we'll have the combo credits entered pretty much automatically. Hope this makes sense. And if there are any questions, thank you, Goose. Please email helpdesk at ic.edu. Thanks a lot.